Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, DAR TBM completes flights over Antarctica, Universal Helicopters announce the acquisition of the Technam fleet, and the V-280 reaches 280 knots. Welcome to your Wednesday edition of Airborne Unlimited. I'm Skylar Vanell. Have you ever wanted to earn your Polar Diamond Circumnavigator Diploma? Well, two pilots did just that earlier this month, and aircraft manufacturer Daher has a lot to be proud of. A TBM 930 and 850 aircraft traveled to Antarctica and overflew the magnetic South Pole. These achievements mark the first legs in earning the Polar Diamond Circumnavigator Diploma, which is recognized by the Federation Aeronautique Internationale and has only been awarded one time. The requirements? Pilots must complete a 2,700 nautical mile trip, three stopovers, and must reach 75 degrees south latitude before they can return to King George Island's airport. Both TBMs had to fly over the continent where peak mountains reach 16,000 feet, and on averages, temperatures dip below negative 56 degrees. January is one of the best times of year to make the trip to the South Pole. After the break, True Blue Power selected as OEM for Technam Traveler as we take you around the patch. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Technam is preparing for their first customer delivery of the new P-2012 Traveler to Cape Air. The Traveler received an EASA type certification last year and now they are prepping for the FAA certification. True Blue Power's intelligent long-life batteries and mid-continent instruments and avionics 2-inch standby attitude model are standard equipment on the Traveler. The 11-seat twin-engine plane is designed to replace thousands of aging FAR-23 and CS-23 aircraft. The U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds are set to fly over Super Bowl 53 during the national anthem. The flyover will feature six F-16 Fighting Falcons. They will reach Mercedes-Benz Stadium at the moment the final notes of the Star-Spangled Banner are sung. The event takes place on February 3rd at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. EASA has approved the A330-900 series for extended-range twin-engine aircraft operations beyond 180 minutes diversion time. This means aircraft operators can benefit from efficient, direct, long-range routes. The approval includes the option for ETOPS 285 minutes. This extends the potential air diversion distance to around 2,000 nautical miles. The U.S. FAA's respective ETOP certification is expected soon. Spanish airport officials are looking for the owner of an abandoned airliner. A MD-87 was left on the tarmac at the Madrid airport for years. Officials cannot say how long the plane has been there, but under Spanish law, an official notice must be posted after a plane has sat for three consecutive months. If no one claims it after a year, it will be considered illegally abandoned and sold at an auction. And that wraps up today's trip around the patch. When we return, Universal Helicopters announced Technam fleet acquisition, and the V-280 Valor reaches 280 knots true airspeed.
The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics personal jet kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit plus engine is still under hundred k Add instruments, upholstery, and paint and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Technam and Universal Helicopters have announced an aircraft purchase agreement for a fleet of 10 initial aircraft for two fixed-wing flight training locations. UHI is a FAA Part 141 training company. They operate up to 58 helicopters for flight training, and now they have their sights set on the fixed-wing training market. The company will be utilizing the high-wing P-2008 LSA for initial Thorough IFR introduction training utilizing the Garmin G3X2 screen system with Garmin Autopilot and Garmin GTN650. Students will then move to the FAA standard category, P2010, for play single completion of IFR commercial and CFI certificates. As they work their way up, students will fly the P2006 T Light Twin to complete their multi commercial and multi instructor certificates. Universal Helicopter CEO said he felt compelled to assist the fixed-wing industry, just as they have done for the helicopter industry. And our final story of the day, the V-280 Valor reaches 280 knots. A full year's worth of testing and more than 85 hours of flight time have allowed to reach its namesake cruising speed of 280 knots true airspeed. Bell's vice president of Advanced Vertical Lift Systems said it was a remarkable achievement to hit this airspeed in just over a year flight testing. The aircraft has completed over 85 flight hours and more than 180 rotor turn hours. The V-280 has demonstrated in-flight transitions between cruise mode and vertical takeoff and landing, along with 45-degree banked turns at 200 knots indicated airspeed. The aircraft has seen some impressive numbers. 4,500 feet per minute rate of climb and a sustained flight at an altitude of 11,500 feet. And they tackled a single flight ferry of over 370 miles. The next stages will expand the performance envelope, highlighting further low-speed agility maneuvers, angles of bank, and autonomous flight. That's all we have for you today. If you have a story suggestion, send us an email at news-spy at arrow-news.net. From all of us here at Arrow News, thanks for watching, and we'll see you back on Friday for more Airborne Unlimited.